Hello, hello, welcome again to Star by My Fashion's YouTube page. Before we get into it, I have this short video for you. <laughs> I hope that made you laugh. Yeah, that is a classic example of if life gives you lemons, you need to make a lemonade out of it. <laughs> so, today, I want to teach you how, guys how to make the simple shirt collar simple shirt collar using the paper gum using the paper gum to make shirt collar it is simple and straightforward and you should pay close attention to this so that you can grab this once and for all if you're like the rest of us there's probably a time in your fashion journey that you you wondered how this thing was done so here is a simple way to do it. You can also do this with the color gum, which will make the neck to be hard. But this one is for something casual, so it doesn't need to be too heavy. That's why I'm using uh, a paper gum. So you can see that I cut the fabric into two pieces of size two inches each. And then I now applied the paper gum on the bad face so this is me just trimming it off so after applying your paper gum you trim out the excess the excess parts of the paper gum trim it out of the the dress out of the two pieces of fabric trim them out so now i'm separating the two fabric from each other that's what i'm doing now and then you trim so this is what you have after trimming out the excess parts so you're going to fold one of those two pieces fold one of them as seen here fold it it should be up to half of an inch fold it up to half an inch and iron as seen after doing that then you can proceed just one piece of that is what you're going to fold leave the other one the way it is now this is going to form the base of the neck so, so now we are going to the top of the neck you can see that i gave the edges a v shape you can see that i gave the edges a v shape so you also apply your paper gun to this apply the paper gun to this and trim off the excess parts as we did before So I'm really sure that by now you must be wondering whether this thing has no measurements. It does have measurements. So at this point, you've joined the front and back of your of your shirt, and you've already trimmed out your neck. So this is what you do: you pick up your tape and you measure the circumference of that neck. Measure your tape around the neck because that's what you're going to be using. So for this one. The circumference of the neck is 17 inches. 17 inches. So, we are going to take away 2 inches. 17 minus 2 will give us 15 inches. And that is what we are using to make the top collar. 
17 inches for the round neck minus 2 inches is what we're using for the top collar now 17 minus 2 is 15 you are going to add half an inch to it so that you can sew on both sides so you can sew on both sides quarter of an inch as i'm doing here if you take quarter of an inch from this edge and then you take quarter of an inch from the other edge you're going to be left with 15 inches for the top of the collar so that is how you achieve the top of your collar measure round your neck and take away two inches from whatever you got if you are using the collar of a shirt so after doing that after doing that we are going to turn the collar inside out just do it the same way i'm doing this use your scissors to make sure that the edges are sharp make sure the edges are sharp push it outward like like so <sighs> if you know you cannot work with that you just take it to the table and use the iron to make sure it's very smooth so now we're going to stitch along that place all the way round we're going to leave up to quarter of an inch watch me do this leave up to quarter of an inch on the edge and stitch it round as seen So you can see the result of this. Now you're going to fold the top collar into two, like so. Fold it into two, and then you notch at the middle part. Notch at the middle part. You do the same thing for the two other pieces. Fold at the fold into two equal halves not at the middle parts so now you place this fabric as seen facing up you pick up the top of the color the one that has a slanted shape place it right on top let the notch align on top of each other and then you take the last piece and place it on top facing down take note of that do not mistake it take note of that do not mistake it so you start for me i start stitching mine from the notch from the middle up to half of an inch let the sewing allowance be up to half of an inch so you just stitch it all the way to this edge and all the way to the other edge so you can see that after sewing that one from the other side i turned it and i started from the middle again and then stitch it all the way to the other side just make sure the three fabrics are aligned with each other stitch it to the edge as seen that will stitch that place you trim off your excess thread and then you turn it turn that thing that way now this is the point where you open that up and then you take it to the machine sorry to the table and you iron it take it to the table and iron it so this is the point where you heat 
on the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel right now. Like this video right now. Share this video right now. Please, please subscribe, like, share. Please do it now. Do it now before we go with the video. Please, please do it right now. Subscribe, subscribe, like, share. Okay? Thank you. Welcome back from the short break. I hope you subscribed. If you have not, please do it now. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. So now we are back at the table. We are going to give this a good ironing. So that we can smoothen out everything. All the edges will be looking sharp and nice. I would like to say again, if you are new to this channel, if you are new to this channel, and I know there are a lot of new people here, I know it. So please subscribe to the channel so that you can get new updates on the latest trends in fashion because I'm going to keep you updated. So just subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I drop a new video. And I drop new videos every week. I do that every week so you don't want to miss out on any of them. Subscribe, like, share, turn on notification bell so that you can get notified. So uh, you can see this. You can see this after ironing that that excess part that you can see that you are seeing down there i'm going to trim it out but i will leave a little bit of uh fabric from that place i'm trimming so that we can use that to stitch on the back of the clothes so you can see this look at that excess part just by probably quarter of an inch you just leave that out so they can use that to stitch onto the bodies of the shirt so now we're gonna take this and apply it onto the bodies of the dress and we are done so now this is the bodies of the dress this is how you do that we're also gonna fold this into two equal halves fold it as seen make sure the color aligns with each other fold that and then you're gonna notch at the middle parts you're gonna notch at the middle parts notch that place pick up the bodies of the dress align the neck look at the two lines are aligning with each other that is the back place the back part you're gonna notch that middle part of the back as well notch it and then you take that to the machine align it with each other and stitch it down so we are now at the machine this is the machine and we're gonna stitch that thing together stitch that thing together so that is the part that was notched on the bodies of the dress of the shirt you can see it that is the place I notched now this is the place i also notched on the collar you can see that so now i'm going to align both of them on top of each other i'm going to align both of them on top of each other like so like this align it on top of each other and then again start stitching from that middle to both ends you double stitch the middle place stitch it all the way to the other side after doing that you turn it and then you do it on the other side as well
so after being done with the first side you're going to turn this thing as seen and then do the same thing for the other side as well So you just trim out all the excess thread for a clean job and now you're going to turn it as seen turn it as seen i'm going to open that up and do it again for you to understand it very well you see that you see that i turned the good faces are facing each other yeah so you just stitch at that edge down to the middle of the shirt. Make sure you don't leave any space in between. Let your thread be right at the edge of the middle of your shirt. Now you trim off the excess part. Trim off the excess part. Do the same thing for the other side. Turn this thing. Let the faces face each other, let the good face face each other. And then you stitch it right at the edge, all the way up. Stitch it right at the edge, all the way up. So after doing that you just turn it back out turn it back out you can see this this is the inside so you turn it back out like this use a scissors to sharpen the edges do this for the both sides you can see that your neck is now coming out you also turn the side use a scissors to sharpen the edges just, just sharp on the edges now after turning that the last thing we're going to do is to stitch around the open part stitch around the open part so you just watch me do it make sure you trim out every excess part of your thread so this is the full neck you can see that the down part is open so I'm just gonna stitch down the open part as seen stitch it all around you double stitch at that place for durability so that your clothes will not start losing easily double stitch and then you sew it around and after doing that you take it to your table and you give it a good ironing and then we are done
so after doing that after doing that what is left is just for you to iron it and when you iron it then you know that you are done so this is how simple it is to use your paper gum to make a color neck so this is where we iron it out give it a thorough ironing make sure it is smooth and slick and nice and then you can pat yourself on the shoulder for a job well done now here is the result of of that neck you can see how it forms very nice so if you follow what i i taught you here just now step by step you're going to achieve something like this or something even better than this <laughs> yeah so this is how to make a shed neck using your paper gun so i have other videos on my channel that you might want to check out how to cut trousers how to make a v-neck design how to make piping for kaftan and some other more and a lot more you just check through the channel and you can learn so just go through it and see what you need thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you up in the next video subscribe please subscribe before you leave